So what I'll do? Yeah, go ahead. Hello, everybody. This is James the Bond, the Scoblin, dedicated to original peoples as always. We got a special guest on. He's been on before, podcaster. You know, where uh, this is a brilliant, knowledgeable brother. This platform, you know, he's got a huge following. You know, you need to follow him on hash citizens. Ay, you know, allow me to introduce Ayo Oguduma. How you doing, my brother? Thank you very much, James the Boy. Welcome on board, um, and thank you so much for inviting me. I appreciate you. Um, the work we do here, and I, first of all, I always um, like to, people to know quite um, how um, um, big the work that you've been doing. You've interviewed people like um, uh, Runoko Rashidi, the late Runoko Rashidi. Um, yeah. That is a guy that is, um, you know, he's a, a, a great historian. And he researched our whole story. He's interviewed many other people, um, and it's actually brought him to the UK, and and many others as well. And he's been going to many parts of the world. Um, James Devoy is someone I really admire uh, with a passion and commitment to the struggle, reaching and connecting with indigenous people. And guess what? We've come full circle. The whole world now realizes that we Africans, we are the people of this planet. I don't say that to, to exclude anybody else. The first people of this planet are Africans. End of story. 100%. Everywhere you go, on yeah. everywhere, on every part of this planet, the first people are black people. That's it. And that is what is being realized. So the work that you've been doing, the, 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 the task you've taken on, the huge task going to um, places like in Indonesia, going to uh, the the Hawaii, going to all of these places that you've gone to, going to the um all of the islands in 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 um, Pacific, um, Pacific and all of that. Yeah. These are it is very very necessary uh, yeah. because we can connect the dots. Because a lot of people now on uh, on the African uh, American African Americans are now realizing, hang on, we are the same people. I yeah. mean, in Hawaii, there are black people. The last queen of Hawaii was a black woman. That's it. The last yeah. queen of uh, Hawaii. So that tells you something. They didn't just arrive by accident. They wasn't just taken from here. We were there. We are people of this planet, period. Well, this, so, uh, this is what it's about. Hey, oh, it's, um, connecting to the, the melanated world. And you see, when we start from the beginning, you know, we recognize Africa, the birthplace of all humanity and civilization. Let's not forget about that. So if we look at just Africa, first of all, before we even move across the world, mm -hmm. let's look at, for example, what they call sub-Saharan Africa, first of all. You know, we didn't make up that name. This is given no. to us, you know. Mm -hmm. So so we look at, say, North Africa now. Now, this North Africa is what they say above the Sahara so okay now now if you look at like you know we don't have a map of africa right now but if we look to analyze north africa now yeah there is still indigenous peoples africans that are there prior yeah. to the arabs and the rest of those people that came in the europeans whether or not they are pushed to the south because if you look at the borders you know these these thing borders when the you know, the Europeans carved Africa up and then said, you know, we're going to... And the way I think about it is, for example, you look look at some places where... If you look at language, for example, now, it is, is what's so important now, language yeah. and culture. Mm -hmm. So say like a part where Kenya is now, for example, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and you have Ethiopia and they border yeah. one another. Now, the people yeah. in the south of Ethiopia, the Omotic, mm -hmm. they mm -hmm. speak the same language as the people in northern Kenya. So... Straight away, you've got it. You've cut us off now. So everyone agreeing with borders, you know, this is something that we have to totally dismiss. You know, if people are speaking Yoruba in other areas, even outside of Nigeria, you know, there shouldn't be no split because these you people know. are your people. They speak the same language, share your culture, share traditions, oral history, etc., etc. So now we're looking at North Africa now. Going to Egypt myself, for example. Now we go to the south, we see them as one. I went into the Nubian village, they're still there. Now, what's happened basically is because 
you've got a mind similar to mine where you're able to put the connection together. So if you would go to, if you're in Cairo, for example, the more north you go, now you see the more paler, more like Arab Turks and whatever. So now if you was to speak to these people, now it's only the fact that there will might be a few who be honest about it, but the majority want to claim it for themselves. So they'll say, for example, like those Nubians are, they they were separate from what we call Emmet, <laughs> you know, so, and it, it, it's, you see, if you don't know your history, they can fool you. That's it. And there's a lot That's of it. people who can be yeah. fooled who don't know the history. Mm -hmm. I was talking to brothers about Saddam, for example, you know, they've got part identity crisis in some part, like, you know, Northern Sudan, and then we've got South Sudan cut off. But then there's people in Northern Sudan who are Africans who might want to subscribe to being Arab. Now, even though we are where there's Arabs and then there's Arab and African mix, but there's people who are pure African who might have an identity crisis and call themselves Arabs. And because this is the, the, you know, they've oppressed our people. That's correct. Now, some people don't even like to speak on the Arab invasion into Africa. I spoke to some Nubians. I interviewed uh, someone who's a biologist out there. He was an Egyptologist also. Yeah. When I interviewed yeah. him, he didn't mind speaking about the Greeks invading. He didn't mind speaking about the Romans. The minute I said, also, we've got the Arabs, he just went quiet. Mm. Now, the various reasons why he's gone quiet. Number one, he's probably worried about uh, the consequences um, number two, you yeah. know, um, yeah, he's probably like sees them as the dominant force in Egypt, so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. he's kind of going with the winner. What they call whoever's ruling the in power is, is the winner, you know? and, and and all of that nonsense, yeah. Also so, nonsense. All of Libya, like Libya, um, Algeria, mm -hmm. you know, you might see these people that they show you on the TV all the time, but you know, yeah, you will yeah. find these traces. Now, what mm. they always try to say, if there is black people there, they'll tell you they were brought in as slaves. And this is the thing what we all can fall for, you know. So it's about knowing which tribes were indigenous. You know, you can know by the languages. Now, Indeed. when they have Arabic Indeed. language imposed on them, mm. then it starts becoming a little bit more difficult. Yeah, yeah. You know, you understand, my brother? Yes. yes, absolutely, absolutely. I mean, well, let me, I can chip in there. There is a video you may have known about this guy speaking about the the, the Arabic side of things. There is mm. a black guy who, an Egyptian who was Arab. His name is Mustafa Henry. I don't okay. know if you heard about him, Mustafa Henry. No, I don't know. And, and uh, he did a program um, some time ago. I wonder, I'm actually going to see if I've got more updates on him now, where he said it was when he got to. America that he realized that um, he was to eat to see himself as Arab, yeah. Arab black. He used to see himself. But when they started classifying him and they said, no, no, you cannot be Arab and black. You either have to be Arab or yeah. black. <laughs> and then he realized that, no, 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 my, my dad is black like me. And, you know, I, I, that is who I am. You know, you cannot separate that. I am African first. Then he started taking that on. I mean, I've got the video of him here. I don't know if I and he and he spoke about that in such a way that it made me like, okay, this is exactly what we mean. This is an Arab man and, and a black man, you know, with his hair. His hair is black. It's black hair. But pe people that looks like him, they'll say, I'm Arab. No, you are not. He said, my dad is a Africa, black African. My mom is light skinned. Yeah. And I've got the mixture of the two. So mm. I am black African. In fact, the words he said, I am black and Egyptian, not a Caucasian. Yeah. That's his, those are his words. Now, I am trying to, I, I try to tell a lot of Africans this. Of course, there are some Arabs that came in into Africa and they, they've mixed with Africa. Now they can choose to say they're Arabs, but you, have, you are African. When you are on the African continent, even though you may have a mixture of other people in you, you are African. And yeah. you do not deny the people of Africa that right to state clearly that the land Africa. In fact, I, I'll add another word. 
I prefer our cable land because there is some discussion about the name Africa that it has some sort of um general or something, and then there's a there's another deeper meaning that we're understanding a separate horrific separation of the soul or something like that is the word it tends to mean in terms of transition from um, from Greek into um, uh, English. So yeah. there is that issue that we're looking at and that makes me want to think more Alkebolan, Alkebolan or Pangea. Alkebolan refers to garden. It means that it's a garden of Eden. You know, that's what yeah. it means. And that mm -hmm. is the garden of Eden that is in their so-called Bible. But anyway, let's put that to one side. Yeah. Back to the issue of um, Arabs and taking over that land and saying that, oh, no, no, we we we, we, we brought you there as slaves. No, no. Um, Sheikh and the Diop has proved conclusively, without doubt, that the pharaohs that you see in the tombs, they are all black. The first 25 dynasties, unbroken dynasty, were African or al Kibulan. They were Kemites, black. And Kemet means to blacken. That's what Kemet means. Yeah. And the people with the from that area are Africans or Al Kibulan. They are, there's nothing European or or Arabic about them. They are black people. And That's these right. are things that we need to, to say. And and the desertation of Africa has been really been done because of the interference of all of this um um colonizers in Africa. Yeah. And they do not understand <laughs> what they're doing when they're interfering in how we do things. And they're still doing it today. Excavation of resources remorselessly without thinking. Our ancestors planned. They would rotate crops. On Our ancestors devised that plan. They would plant this crop for two or three seasons, rotate it to something else, bring something else, and then go back to the other one. It gives the time, the soil, the time to breathe. That's right. Well, of course, the area that is called Sahara Desert was green. Yeah. It was green. And and also another thing I will say is that the Af the whole of the of the earth was one called Pangaea. You know, these are things that many people are not aware of. But now where's what if, if I could just say something, yeah. Now what yes. the other peon has done, he wants you to believe the time of Pangaea there was no humans on the planet. So <laughs> Ah, this is oh, where, man. like, you see... Childhood thinking. Yes, the Western <laughs> science... What's unfair is that Western science dominates all this discussion. Mm -hmm. Where mm -hmm. if you want to get the best of everybody, you find the best of different people in different cultures from different places in the world. That's correct. That's correct. And you come fairly and you don't dominate. Nobody dominates. You have people bring their views. Now, see with Sheikh Antadia, for example... Mm -hmm. You know, he's one of our greatest. Now, what we've got to understand with um, Diop as well is yeah. what he was going to with this anthropology. He was already joining something that has already been put there. Yeah. So, example, like, they speak about we come from this common ancestor with apes, so for example. <laughs> so they say then the Australopithecines, yeah. um, you know, some 7 million years ago, that came from all sorts of things. You know, we were wriggling in the water, and then yeah. now yeah. it's it's quite um it's quite funny how people are so to sure about this. Now I don't blame Diop for this, you see, because mm -hmm. Diop obviously has came in and it's already been set up for them. So when he goes to France to study, that's what he went to, isn't it? He's going to join Western society, you know. And Darwinism, child Darwin, you know. Yeah, exactly. Darwin and, and all of that yeah. nonsense with the so, lies of theory of evolution, yeah. which is a falsehood. So you're not going to be able to pass your degree on the mm -hmm. westernized university, their science, western science. You're not going to mm -hmm. pass no. if you don't, if you don't uh, take their so-called responsibility yeah. of the evolution of the stages of humanity. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. he did, but he did the best he could because at least he did things like prove the ancient Egyptians were black, prove yeah. North Africans, prove the original Arabs were before they mm -hmm. got invaded as well. Mm -hmm. So, we take the best out of Sheikh Antibio. And Absolutely. then Absolutely. when it comes to dealing with oral history, we go to mm -hmm. the Yoruba, we go yeah. to the Ijo, we go to the Ebo, yeah. we go to mm -hmm. 
the people of the Congo, you know, yeah, the Dogan Empire as well. That's what we do for mm. those to get the rest of our answers. Mm. And you I mean, speak he, about he can, language he, a lot. He, he, he couldn't he couldn't possibly cover all of it i mean he's done the real cent yeah. the real key one which is to prove the 25 dynasties up until yeah. the 20 before the inter invasion yeah. were all africans and I mean, you know, even though even though we did have invasions during within these 25 but it wasn't the fact of when we say invasions we talking about like where where they wanted to shut the menu netter down, basically. So with, yes, like, the Greeks, the Greeks mm -hmm. at least, like, well, they came in, and you have Coptic. So Coptic's the mixture of the menu netter and the Greek language. Okay. But it was, yes. but the time the Romans come, they're shutting mm. that down. Mm. You know, so mm. from that period of time is the most crucial. Yeah, it Don't is. Don't get me wrong, we've had, like, serious times um, around the 6th century BC, mm -hmm. 600 mm -hmm. BC, yeah. We are there, the Assyrians. Mm -hmm. Now, these Assyrians came from places like what we look at as Iraq now, places like there, yeah. Mesopotamia. Yeah. And these were like the first actual white invasion, like white. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. But what it was with the Assyrians is, is what gave them the might was um, they came in with like steel swords. Mm -hmm. We were still using bronze at the time. Mm -hmm. Now, we had the knowledge to um, we were smelting iron, so we had the knowledge to be able to use look, it. Look, in but my in 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 Yoruba land, domestic purposes we used it for. <laughs> in, in Yoruba land, we were the we were already working with iron. Yes, that's how come we were able to make brass those bronze faces. Yeah, we were working for iron for eons. I grew up. I I went to a place where we they they were using the old style way of smelting iron. Yeah, using this fat this blowing thing that was pressed on both sides and it. And it, and I, I I witnessed this, so this is part of my history. So yeah. when they try to tell you that Africa didn't know about iron or anything, they brought iron technology to us. No, you're, you're talking nonsense. You're yeah. talking absolute <laughs> nonsense because I've experienced that. I've actually worked with people smelting iron, and I know how they did it using purely local technological advancement that mm. has been, and it hasn't changed much. It is still about melting that iron and then using it to shape it to what you want. That is basically what the iron is about. And yeah. knowing where they are and how to source it and to extract it and to move it and all of that. That is it. But to cry and tell you, oh, they, they, they're they trying to prove, oh, they were the ones to first do something. They weren't. No way. This, this so, You know, we have to just blow that out of the water. When yeah. they talk about, uh, when they talk about medical, uh, medical advancement, Africa was where they were doing the first brain surgery. They took, I've got a video, I can't find it. I had a video many years ago. The, the medicine man would take, would take a, you know, take the skull of a man off, treat the pain, uh, the, 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 the injury, put it back, and you saw it heal. This is in Africa. You know, without any books. <laughs> yeah. but, but they don't tell you all of this story. They start, they want to tell you falsehood. So it, I'm just saying that to, uh, to 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 tally into what you're saying yeah. about this perception issue that they're trying to bring in and 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 actually try and twist and tell our stories in different ways. Um, yeah. Certainly, for me, we are the beginning of everything. Whatever the Greeks learned, they learned from the Kemites. Whatever, totally. and the yeah. idea that they keep calling us Egypt is a way to for us to not connect back to what we are, Kemet. Yeah. That is why they keep talking about Egypt. That's why they keep naming it Egypt. That's why they put the name Africa. And when they name something, they own it. Well, we have less than one minute to go. So yeah, we'll just log back in. We log back in. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So that's fine. So 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 what you're saying, what we you and I are saying is 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 correct. We need to retell our own stories and 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 pull all of it together for it to make sense to every um uh, every indigenous people from around the world uh, and that is what we are we aim to do and we will continue to do so uh, relentlessly um because there's so much lies that's been told that Too we much. have to we have okay go ahead yes yeah, so us telling our story is mm -hmm. like you were saying before it's so important for africans to be able to tell the story you know 
I mean, like here, for example, I would have liked to speak to Lazard on this topic as well, because where he is based in Mali, yes, he would have had that's more closer to Arab entrance. That's when correct. Was, That's we correct. went across North Africa, Mauritania, Mm. Mm -hmm. and Mauritania, mm -hmm. you know, they still had slavery it was legal up until 1981. Yeah, it's crazy. It's cra I don't uh, understand uh, this. Uh, now, uh, let me shock you. Right now, there's slavery going on in Congo. Right yeah. now. There's slavery going on in Congo right now. Um, I, there was a video that I came across, and the lady was talking about the fact that there is Congo, because of the resources there, the West are not allowing the people to breathe. They are killing them. They are chasing them away. And they're taking away the, the resources and enslaving the people. And we need to expose this. So yeah. what you're saying um, is just to tie into what you're saying. It is very, very true that we have to tell our own story. And when you hear about slavery, and of course the Arabs are, they still consider us as their slaves, yeah. you know? And we need to, this is what, why we need to challenge all of this nonsense and actually break it down. But um, yeah, I'll, 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 I'll stop there. You, you, you carry on, please. Let's, let's yeah, so basically, um, <clears throat> you see, with the Europeans, if we see him any part of Africa, we recognize straight away who he is and he's not indigenous. Mm -hmm. Now, some people get kidded that the Arabs are always there in North Africa. <laughs> yeah, this is the problem. <laughs> now, you see the Sahara Desert now. Yes. So when they're penetrating into the Sahara Desert, more so, desert dwelling. Yes. Now, they are oppressing African tribes, indigenous, in those deserts. That's, now, that's exactly it. Now, this is why it's important, like places like that closest to Sahara, like Niger, northern mm -hmm. Niger, mm -hmm. Mali, yes. Chad, Absolutely. Um, Mauritania. Um, so these places, like, we don't get to uh, really know too much about what goes on the desert. No. Because no. it's not like a place in the desert where it's like, you know, it's nomad land. It's yeah. a lot of things are going on. There's the, you have the little hierarchies. I've, I've watched these documentaries of them and that, and I've read a little bit about them. Mm -hmm. But as far as eyewitness accounts, yeah, these people are so isolated where it's like they're in the old world and like you, you don't even know what's going on. Mm -hmm, so, with, mm -hmm. and, and with the Arabs, they're into raping a lot of our women. Oh, goodness me, goodness so when, me, that's what they do. Yes. And they beat our men. I've got a video yeah. where they were literally they tied up African men yeah. and they're beating them up. Yeah, and the women and, and they tell them to sit on a chair and they're literally using sticks and stuff to beat them. And they yeah. beat them to sort of when they then take the heap of the take them off the chair, they they uh, just thinking about it alone. I, I just get so. I feel sick. Yeah. I feel angry. But, you know, this is why we do what we do. This is why we're saying that we're not going to allow these people to, to, to be the ones telling us our stories. We cannot let them because the damage not a is done. And it's not a case of what some people end up doing, yeah, whether they're yeah. Christian or they're Muslim. Sometimes yeah, yeah. they want to take sides of should we be on the Arab side or the European side where we, we need to be on the side of our people. Thank you. Thank you. It doesn't mean That's we have to be exactly enemies. It, it doesn't no. mean that we, we have to be enemies, but first of no. all, recognize your own people, whether you're a Christian or Muslim That's it. or That's other, it. A Hebrew. We all want people. Yeah. yeah. You know, so because sometimes I'll have discussions with people where I could speak about to about the Europeans, how they have colonized and enslaved. Yeah. Now yes. I might get some African Christians say, Well, what about the Arabs? Okay, I'll come to them next as well. They exactly. Are, they're, they, guilty. <laughs> they're guilty. Exactly. As well. they, and then they, vice versa, if I speak to um African Muslims, oh, the Christians Islam entered peacefully into Africa. So we get um you see it's it's quite funny, like um it is, isn't it's a funny it? Isn't thing it just? I just rather not play into the sides and what is our priority? Our priority is our people, indigenous Africans and Africans of the diaspora. What's That's going to make exactly. Africa great again? How are we going to connect our people around the world, whether in the United States, the Caribbean, Europe, yeah. or even the people out in the Fiji Islands who connect to African ancestry? You know, Indeed. this is... Indeed. Indeed. And, and then there's other African groups like in Southeast Asia, like I say, I go to the yeah. rainforest, pure yes. black people. They exactly. know about Africa. 
Exactly. And you look at things like the spirituality, you look at the nature yeah. of the people, and they're all connected. This is the same as where African people are, and we are the first. So mm -hmm, mm -hmm. these are the these are the things. It's um it's part of our nature of like just basically um <clears throat> how we view the universe. Indeed, indeed, indeed. You know, uh, now, I, 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 sorry, yeah, go ahead. I was going to speak okay. to you about um, the Yoda bar because you know your Yoda bar. Um, yes, exactly. Yes. I mean, right. like I say, I've always gravitated towards the Yoda bar, even though I'm an Ijo people. Yes. I'm going to use the word tribe. Ijo, Ijo <laughs> and Yoruba are quite close by. You know that. That's right. Yeah. There is yeah. a closeness between. Yeah. Um, and uh, Ijo and uh, is part of, I believe, is part of the Benin Kingdom. Yeah. Um, in the old before the British came to dismantle it and take away two million pounds worth of tusks, elephant tusks, yeah. was taken away along with 3,000 artifacts that is still in the museums today. Many yeah. people don't know these things. These are, you know, I, I, I do extensive research. I'm not just, when I'm saying all of this, believe you me, I have done research that has opened my eyes to see this. And we need to be recognized, we have to recognize that that's what they've done. And, so, and another thing, when you hear the name, when you hear the nation called Benin, uh, Republic of Benin, that nation is known as Dahomey. Our ancestors call it Dahomey, the kingdom of Dahomey. But for us to forget, to, to make us forget where the British came and dismantled the kingdom of Benin, they put the name Benin on Dahomey. So that we will be confused if you start trying to look for your history. Of course, they failed. They yeah, failed because Benins, we all know. Yeah, the, you got you got two Benins, isn't it? As you, well, exactly. That's yeah. what they try to do. So yeah. th there's only one Benin, but they created a new another Benin somewhere else to make you not connect. And for the children, because if they are teaching the children that place is called Benin, you will just accept it as that. Yeah. But people like you and me, we know. When we start looking at the maps and we start looking at the history, no, no, no. Benin was in Benin was part of the Benin Kingdom with ten thousand square miles of wall, the longest earthworks in the entire world, longer than the wall of China. But yeah. these are histories that people don't know. So yeah. I say all of these things because it is a fact. And they, in privately, the the the, the colonials they admit this privately, but they will never come out and admit it publicly. They always try and leave little comments here. Oh, it's the longest one. But to, to connect it and make the people who they stole from to know this and say, you know, we are sorry. Here are the stuff we take. Every single thing. Oh, no, 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 no. We can't do that. No, 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 no. It's, you know, and this, these are the things that we're, we're, we're really coming out to really dispel, you know. So in the case of yourself now, we're talking about the concept of um, uh, a Yoruba culture, and uh, the God concept and, and on those things, these are all interrelated with how we are. Um, um, we believe in our Orishas. Our Orishas are our deities. They are deities that have served the people. They've protected the people. The connection, we connect to the, um, the, 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 the to Olodumare, through yeah. our deities. Now that is the connection. Now, with all of the Mali, very important. Very yes. important. That is the number one. That's um, the number and, one. And, and that's the one that they connect, that, that issue. Yeah. Issue is the man. And that is why what they, what they did when Owen Emmerich Vidal, the, the bishop designate of Sierra Leone, when he came in 1852 to the Sierra Leone and wrote first um um bishop adrai crowder to write a lie he told him you write these words you tell them that our issue is equate to their satan to make us turn away from our um issue which is the second to his second in command to Ele Dumari. he's the he's the connection for us as people in our own areas in the kingdom he's the go between between the king issue and Elodimari, because our king is the second in command to the deities. Igbaki mm. Jurisha, the head. You know, when you become a king, you are part of the gods. When the king, when our king passes away, we never say they die. They call him Obati Waja, 
which means he's gone to the great beyond, great to the next, you know, he's become a deity that we must worship. So this is how powerful. So they destroyed all of that. So um, I guess I'm hoping that this, this answers your question in a way. Yeah. Um, the, the God concept that we have is through those deities that we worship. And those deities, I'm going to say to you, they have days of the week. On Monday, um, we have four days. And this is a good thing to actually break down a bit more now. Uh, and I'll show you the calendar. I think I have a calendar somewhere. Um, I'm working on it. It's still not fully done, but um, it's almost there. Uh, but I will, I will show you one section of it if I can. Uh, yeah, this is important you. what you're saying anyway. Yeah, yeah. About this, because the God concept, mm. like when I speak to people of Abraham's religions and they demonize African spirituality. That's correct. So they have no right say, to do so. They'll say, they no oh, right. there's only one God, but uh, all these deities people were worshipping, it was, they were worshipping evil forces and there spirits. And there you go. The so what is more evil one? than somebody coming to my community and burning my people, cutting their cutting their private parts off and sticking it in their mouth, cutting the, the you know the the, the women's private parts and, yeah. and and you know and, and sticking a pipe up you know that is Sick that is that is that, yeah. this has so please stare, those people coming with that nonsense spare me that nonsense spare me with that 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 nonsense talk because you have no say in what you what the damage you've done is quite enough thank you I'd like you to just go, take a step back. And go quietly in a corner and actually contemplate yeah. what you've done. You know that's what I say to them. Uh, and, I, it's not even a discussion. For well, me. there's an interesting one. Like, say for example, when they speak on Jesus Christ, now it's okay for him to do all miracles, like mm -hmm. for example, turn water to wine, yes. walking well, on water, you know, um, raise the dead, and mm -hmm. you know, it, it's not voodoo. <laughs> exactly. So, exactly. Exactly. But it's okay because he's exactly. the son of God. Exactly. And this and, oh, now, yeah. so, indeed. So now, going back to what we were saying, I wanted to just even give up. Give, I'm going to quickly show you something to tell you how important this is yeah. because this gives you an idea of our concept of God. I'm going to show you something on the screen. If I'm going to try and share screen with you, I will show you this. So if you can see that, I don't know if you can. Can you see that? Uh, no, actually, you know what? Let me yeah, stop share. Yeah. Let well, me stop here for a second. I, I'm gonna. Yeah. I'm just quickly gonna do this way. I think it's better if I do it on this side and then pull that back in. I'm oh, sorry. Give me a second. Give me a second. I'm just gonna pull it back in. There we go. Okay, good. I think I've got that now. I'm happy with that. Then we will go back to the uh, Zoom and share this now. Now we can share it because I I don't want you to have a blank screen when I'm talking. Um, it doesn't show that. So let's do this. So we're going to go in here and we'll share that screen. Great. Okay. No. So now, what I'm showing you is the day of the week. And, and it is very current. Today is the 15th. Tomorrow yeah. is the beginning of a new Yoruba month. It's called Oshue Faodu, okay. which is, the, which is the, the sixth month of our year. You know? This is Efaodun um, Alanu, uh, the month of kindness. Uh, you know, this is what we do. Now, if you look at it, um, we have four days in a week, in Yoruba week. Ojo four Batala. Days. Yes. Obatala is one of the gods that are that's behind, that's below the issue. Then we have the Ojo Onumi Laifa. Now, Ifa. Is the divination as you know? If I is when they told through the Okwele to know you can ask him questions and you are connecting with the God, the God speak through us to us through Ifa. So it's very important. Onumila and Ifa is very, very powerful deities that we need to worship as well. So those days of the week that we have, Ojo Ogun, God of Iron, is another day that we worship. And then you have Ojo Shongo, Thunder, the, th the, the deity of, of Thunder. thunder. Yeah, God yeah. of thunder, you know, so we have, you know, and, 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 uh, you know, these are particular things that is connected to our, answer, um, uh, our, um, to the deities and how we worship them. And through the worshiping of them, we get a connection to Olodumari. The Olodumari is the overall, but the, the first messenger 
below Oludumare is a shoe. So you can see our concept of the connection to the most high, if you're going to say it that way, or Oludumare. We call it Oludumare. You know, we believe yeah. that there are higher forces beyond us, uh, you know, that's in us, that's around us, and we connect through our, um, uh, through those, um, those gods that we worship in the days of the week. Now, do you notice that it's four days we have in a week? Yeah. That means we have seven weeks in a month. So four okay, days a yeah, week, yeah. seven weeks in the month, 28 days in a month, giving us 13 calendar months. 13. Okay. So you can see now that the God concept and the worshiping of the gods in those days, there is a connection with how we do things. And it actually works with the cycle of the moon. You, you see that? Yeah. So yeah. this, the concept of God ties in into the world around us. It helps us to make sense of what we see, feel, hear, and all of that. And it ties back to when we are worshiping them. It is one and whole. But if you look at Christianity, what do you have? You have 28 days here, 30 days there. It's, it throws the cycle. And the women's cycle follows the month, the cycle of the moon. But of course, when you're following Christianity, it throws all of that out. Yeah. That is an alarm bell. Those of us who are in Islam and Christianity, that should be an alarm bell. Because when you are following the cycle of the earth, it actually helps settle the women are able to actually do the things they need to do. They function far better. Forcing us to go into religions that does not tally with the cycle of the, of the, of the earth and the moon is actually throwing us out of sync and it's causing uh, so many distress within our own, uh, with our, within our societies. And this is why I, I, I tell people the God concept is not just, oh, just pray to something. You know, this is our lived experience. This is how we connect and make sense of the things around us. Eshu is a protector. When you worship Eshu, and we do not do cannibalism, like they're saying, or we're autism of using human blood. None of that. We worship in the way they 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 tell us not to use uh, to wash to use blood. In 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 the Christian faith, they use animals to worship. In Islamic faith, they use animals to worship. Guess what? They learned it from us. They learned this from us. Using animals. And then they're now trying to turn around. They do the same thing. And they try and castigate us for doing what we, the people of this planet, you know, taught them how to do. Exactly. These are things that we need to talk about. So Yeah, yeah. Very important. So, but it so, is the contradiction. There you go. The so contradictions. Now you can now see the connection between the deities, the days of the week, and the the cycle of the of the earth and so, how all of that fits together. So four Maybe. days in a week and, That's and correct. Um, seven weeks in a month. That's correct. Wow. Gives you 28 days. Yeah. So we had 28 days. And this is the same calendar with the Dogon, Dogon Empire. The Dogon Empire have 28 days in a week as well, in, in a month as well. Yeah. The Dogon, Afri uh, uh, the, uh, many African countries, uh, African kingdoms, they were working with that cycle because they followed the cycle of the earth. But when you look at Christianity, it doesn't. Yeah. It Go falls back to down. Big screen. Go back to big screen. Hey, oh. Can you see? Can you see? Can you see me now? Is it? Yes, because we're within little boxes. If you can make the oh, screen. Hang on, hang on, hang yeah. on. Let me see. I I thought you could see me big. Hang on. Let me just check. No, something. yes, but, but but small screens. Yeah. Oh, okay. I, if you mean you and I. Okay. Yeah, yeah you, you, mean, you, man. Yeah. yeah. So I'll, I'll I'll come out of that. I wanted to just show that. So I'll stop share now, because I want you to just see that. Yeah. Okay. So now, so. That alone, so you can now see the connection between our African deities, our days of the week, and how we worship, and how our economy functions, how our kingdoms functions, and it is all in sequence. Again, when people are going to grow and all of that, they go and do consulting. When is the best time to grow? What do you think of this? They will consult Ifa, and Ifa will say, "Okay, if you're going to do this, we think you should do it this time." You know. And we're seeking guidance. It's yeah. a, a two-way connection. Whereas Christianity is one way. 
No, and Islam is what Christianity and Islam is one way. This is what the book says. You do not ask any questions, you follow what they said. You are not allowed to use your thinking yourself. You yeah. are only supposed to follow what is in the book. Whereas Ifa allows you to ask questions and they will suggest answers for you, give you answers, and you can ask more questions. And you know, when you do that, and you and you will know this speaking the fact that if you go to another, if you get a, um, a reading from one Ifa priest, you go to another priest. And they will give you the same answer. This is exactly how powerful Ifa is. And, and it's all part of connection to you know what's our interesting God concept. Well. What's yes. interesting, um, mm. when you go on YouTube, and um, do, did this, uh, you might, I'm not sure the exact um, name of the show, but mm -hmm. there's a show where they have Africans on it. Mm -hmm. And so many, half of them are Christians, half, half of them are traditionalists. Mm. And it's, the person who's the host, he's not an actual mm. African. He, I've seen different ones. One was a Chinese person. Another person was a European or something mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. And you don't see the... you don't. So, you know, this one, step forward if you agree with this. Step forward yeah. if you agree with this from both sides. <laughs> so I'm watching them have discussions now. So I'm watching the one of the lady, African lady, who was a Christian. And she was saying about... Um, um, I think yeah, the Igbo people. He was talking about the Igbos, mm -hmm. how they were sacrif They would sacrifice. Um... Oh, Mary, you're talking about Mary Slesso. You're talking about Mary Slesso, right? Mary Slesso, when she said, "Oh, she's the one who stopped them from from killing the twins and all of that." Yeah, I, I, well, I think it's that one. But but you were talking about um, when a king dies, mm -hmm. you have to sacrifice somebody like to kill kill them. Like, like, so it's um, mm -hmm. people's versions, and you know. They always like, even like so, some people spoke about some of the Arishas or whatever they were sacrificing. Yes. But it's it's difficult. I mean, there's different in reasons the, for in, different things and in, that. But of in course, that Europe, in Europe, are they going to tell us that cannibalism doesn't take place? Are they going to tell us that the people are not killed? How about the women that because they were practicing paganism were, 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 were burnt alive? Yeah. Alive, you know, but nobody talks about that. Yeah. But they want to put an, again. You see, they're trying to put a negative aspect on, on the people, yeah. and we must not apologize. Uh, why is it that the French have built the 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 burnt down church? Uh, the what they call again? Oh, what's that place called that got burnt down? You'll come to me now. Um, where they had the gargoyles, the the church of something that got burnt down and they had to build it all again. And on the pictures on the around that that so-called church are uh, dragons and demons and everything on yeah. there. That is part of who they are. They're not going to get rid of it. Yeah. What right have they got to tell us or question us about how we do things? That is up to us to decide. And many of the stories can be, they embellish, they tend to embellish a lot of our stories and tell lies about who we are. So I don't trust anything that comes from their mouth. I don't. Exactly. Yeah. We need to do our own research ourselves. And yeah. oftentimes when they go into communities, they bastardize the community. Yeah. And then make them turn on each other. And then they say, oh, look, that's what they're doing. Not knowing that they had gone in and actually instigated this, created it for them to be able to speak up and say, look how they are. But they are behind it. So we have to be very cautious about taking up any of the stories. We take it at the, with a big pinch of salt. They're very good that's at minors against each other, though. That's correct. That's what they're trying to do. Very good at it. You know, and that's, it and this seems is why, to work all the time. This is why, this is why we need to really, we, we have got to do a lot of work, you and my I and other places. Um, I would ask, I would encourage many of us to make sure we, we join TikTok, uh, at least in the short term. Because TikTok, there is a lot of Africans who are waking up. And we are making big connections on there all the time. Um, and the discussion is around how we can make the connection stronger. From those of us who are in diaspora, to those of us who are at home, to people who are from Brazil, from America, America Cuba, you know, even in Argentina, there are black people. But they don't tell you all of this stuff. Yeah. In Cuba, there are black people. You know, yeah. in Venezuela, there are black people. These are things that they don't tell to you, talk to you about. And these people yeah. know their history. They haven't forgotten. Like you said, they, they know their history. When you go and speak to them, they tell you about their history of their ancestors, how they came to be that they've been, they've been sidelined. And many of them have, so many horrible things have been done to them. 
a lot you know, of even in, things, even in yeah, even in Mexico, yeah. even in Mexico as That's well. Right. So these are like I, I tell you, we are everywhere. There is nowhere on this planet that we are not the beginning. Nowhere, no, South nowhere. America, one thing about like South America as well is how black people are treated there, rarely oppressed. America, it, it's it's a different type of oppression, you know. Where it's the same, it's all the same, but mm. South America is not like actually you don't recognize the African peoples of these lands. So when they give statistics, for example, say Colombia, the amount of Africans are there. If you look at the censorships, yes. Morty said that maybe you go back to 2005 or something like that. There's more people identifying mm -hmm. as African yeah. than the years to, around today. So that's that's un, that's a bit funny that because yeah. you'd think as time goes on, more people, the population's grown. So mm -hmm. but what it is is that because they've told so many bad things as Africa, and plus by them trying to identify with something yeah. different, yeah, you know, um, yeah. whether it's for the employment purposes, mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. know, whether it's a status thing, mm -hmm. whatever it is, basically, um, so it's there. Mm. Um, what's the word for it? Is it's like more almost being ashamed of who? Yes, are, yes, you know. Yes. But th this is being put on them, you know. To if you want to benefit survival purposes, I've just got. So mm -hmm. for survival purposes, exactly. people will exactly. identify as something else. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No? Indeed, indeed, indeed. Uh, and 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 I mean, I, I'm I'm looking at. I'm just just to do some some checks now. Um, I mean, you look at Brazil, like you said. You know, the amount of Africans they they, they that come from they they're Africans. Yeah, they're Africans. And and I think back in the when we had Pangaea, the crossing between Brazil, what is known as Brazil, that was it fits into the into the, the part of Africa where is West Africa. It literally does. So I you can see so. that the people are the same there. But they yeah. won't tell you any of this stuff. No. You know? And 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 we have to wake our people up and do that work as a as 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 a media people and uh, anthropologists, African anthropologists trying to piece back the real facts, the real history. Minus their so-called history, you know? Yeah. We just have to tell the story of who we are and not allow lies be, you know, perpetuated and 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 forced on us for us to believe in. And that's the, the worst kind of thing you can do to people is to to erase their history and then tell them they are something that they are not, because they will be trying to be that thing forever till they leave this earth. You know. So well, back back to what I was saying before, yes, when they yes, speak on Pangaea and they yes. say there was no humans here. This is another way <laughs> where you can steer the anthropology yes, and archaeology. Exactly. You can steer it away from us. Cause because in reality, like if you look at it like of like and look yeah. at nature, the purpose of nature. Yes. Yeah. It would make yeah. sense for the creator to put us on the landmass that's all yes. one. So yes. that way, when it does split up, we're gonna end yes. up in different places without even having to walk there. You yes. know, so indeed, indeed. Indeed. But this 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 kind of mentality doesn't fit into their logic, you know. So no, no, it doesn't. It doesn't. Um, I mean, they they talk about how can a place exist and nothing is on it. Yeah. Just think about that. It's impossible, you know. And and the fact of the matter is that when you when you when you go and look at the history of Dinkesh. Two million years old, it's a, an African woman. Yeah, in Ethiopia. There's another body, a skull found in South Africa. These are the oldest skulls on the planet. That's right. You know, and they are African. They are as old as, if not close to the, you know, the 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 the, the planet itself. You know, and there are places around the world that they find these these things. Um. You you start beginning to look at them and going hmm you you know how do we believe your stories, you know how do we believe the the, the this thing about oh uh, you've always been here and no you're not, you know the fact of the matter is that the 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 fact that when you do all this stuff the history even the the pharaohs that they're looking at they are far far older than six hundred thousand years, far yeah. far older, yeah than that 
Yeah. So that tells you that they are trying to piece some old stories and bring to write themselves into the story. When they put a gap in, they've put themselves in that gap. We've been here, and that's but it's all falling. It's falling apart. And they spoke on um, in their old oldest religious text in the Papyrus. They spoke on come from the beginning of the Nile, where God mm -hmm. happy dwells in the foothills of the mountains of the moon, round Kilimanjaro, Uganda, the mm -hmm. Congo, mm -hmm. these areas, these Central African areas, and way yeah. their way up to yes. where Egypt is. You know, so th th this is the thing you see where they want you to believe that the Egyptians came from Asia or your yeah. Eurasia. You know, yeah. so but that's already been proven. Yeah. That's already been proven now. Indeed. And Egypt, Indeed. don't Without get me wrong, doubt. it was probably the most overrun invasions. Yes, on the African continent, it was at one it, time. It, yeah, yeah. I mean, the, the the what they've done to us on that continent. We have to heal ourselves. Uh, we really do have to do a lot of work. And that's why I, I go back again to the point I said. Um, TikTok is the platform where we are having direct discussions among ourselves. There's so many people, so many Africans are waking up. If yeah. you um, I, And I think probably when I'm doing the next show that I'm going to do a discussion, um, I'm going to invite you on there. Because I need people to hear, to reach a wider audience as well, so that we can begin to have these discussions among ourselves. And and really, the 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 perspective that you bring to the discussion in terms of the indigenous people across the whole planet is very important, because it is the way that you are piecing us back together to to make that connection that many people don't even think is possible. I mean, yeah. when you talked about the fact of the uh, the Fiji Islands and where the people are talking about the fact that they came from Congo, you know, and that uh, and they came on the yeah. ship, the Tanganyika, and the mm. four the four boats leaving. You know, I've been trying to make some research on that. I'm still doing that. But like I said, there's, there's a lot of work that I... It's a lot of work. Here, it's brother. a lot right. of work to do. But yeah. we can only... We will try and do more. And at the same time, there are more things that we're uncovering at this all the while. One thing that could definitely help us is someone who's a linguistic. Because I was in Fiji. I've actually got a little video there. And I'll, mm -hmm. I'll download and send it to you. Okay, There's an older yes. person in the Fiji Islands I met mm -hmm. and, and I interviewed, but he wanted the interview in the dark. So basically, okay. it was just one of them, um, like a lamp in the nighttime. He, yeah, like, he didn't want to be filmed with his face Yeah, he on. didn't really want to be seen. So mm. he, when he started saying about some words, mm -hmm. go through a few different words, which are the same as some African languages. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I was like, mm -hmm. now when we see African languages, I mean, we've got a lot of languages and yes, yes. So we do. He didn't actually say which one, but this is why we need a linguistic. I mean, we, we, we have we have experts who are linguists, and what we we'll do, we we'll just we call them up. We them. will call them up. And this is what we need to do. We should probably yeah. be, I mean, uh, James, I'm, I, I want to say this as well. All of us should start really looking at how we can bring together a platform that is purely African. We control it. We yeah. run it, we use it, and we monitor it ourselves so yeah. that these people can stop. We can stop this nonsense of people keep canceling us, keep shutting us down so that yeah. we never be able to, you know, every time they do that, they're actually stopping our progress. When we go so far, suddenly they cut it. Like the so, Chinese and then, TikTok, TikTok, for example. Exactly. And they want so to they, stop that, don't they? You there know, you go. But, but the so they realize, yeah. exactly. So they realize that. TikTok is really making us connect in ways that they can stop. Yeah. You know, of course, they can stop that on Facebook. They can stop it on YouTube. They can stop it on uh, Instagram. They can yeah. stop it on um, um, Xspace. But TikTok, they can't. And the way we are able to talk and hear each other immediately is we're making direct connections. So we need to have that as something that must happen on our own platforms, on our own African platforms. You think it, in order for us to achieve what you've just said, Mm -hmm. Is this something that you think that we can just do independently? Absolutely. Without, I mean, when I say independently, without our governments in Africa, or yes, it, or is yes, it, or are we gonna put the pressure on them to do it? No, 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 no. We can we can start off. You see, the thing is, you start something small. That <laughs> is absolutely because we have to do a test case. Yeah. Once you do a test case, and it runs and it functions at a small scale, 
All you are simply doing is scaling up. So we don't have to think about involving any government. In fact, the less of the government of the Western of our, our, our African countries in, except for the government of the likes of of Mali, Burkina Faso, Mali, and Niger. We know now that those, they want something that they can actually yeah. be part of. In fact, we should be yeah. looking at them as the people that we can partner with because we know exactly what they are about. They are yeah. about ensuring that African stories is told from an African perspective without any interference from the colonials. So yeah. that is what we'll be looking at. But I think uh, one of the things I, I'm suggesting, I'm trying, and I'm going to be talking about it on other platforms as well, is this idea that we build something that we can use without interference from the from any other anybody you know, from the way yeah. anybody. We are in control of that. We will have the connections, or you know, independent of what they already have in place. We have to have something that is in the totally independent, no connection. Because if there's any connection, it's like a backdoor to try and cause damage. So we yeah. need our own, but we need to start it small. Um, probably within we can start it in diaspora, and then we we we, we do that and build over time. And the infrastructure will have to be entirely African infrastructure, because yeah. if we rely on anything on there, they will find a way to come in and then control it. And control. that's all they we want. They want that. to control, it. and we do not want to be controlled. We need our own platforms without any interference so yeah totally right yeah, um yeah. one question i want to speak out as well you know we have shamans the shamans yes i've um, heard about them now what's interesting is because i like trying to meet these types of peoples and mm -hmm. you know these are very very spiritual very knowledgeable the wisdom that they have mm -hmm. now some people will try to refer to them as like um the same with Abraham religion, they always like to refer to these people as what's the word called you use? Um, oh, sorry, um, what you mean? The what, people with the negative word, people sorcery, <laughs> that's yes, the word, yeah. yes, yes, they always yes, say they're yes. into sorcery, so they're bad, and but it's it's but then you could look into their religions and, and search for little certain things yourself mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and. You're gonna like see something similar, mm -hmm. which is copied mm -hmm. anyway, but it's, it's yeah, yeah, in their yeah. version, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know. So, we just need to, like you say, we need to push for the independence. But it's the people, it's the people, like you say, it's not the government we need, you know, we need the people. We need, we need the people to be. I, I mean, what I like about what's happening in Niger, Burkina Faso, and Mali is the people are supporting the government and saying, yes, we do not want the, the, the Western powers on our on our land. They've done enough damage. And when the Western powers try to take the, the government out, they say, no, they come out en masse and say, no, we do. And they, they've even said, they've even got, they even got Ibrahim Traore to, 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 they've got him to be their, gov their president for the next five years because yeah. they they so much believe in what he's doing he, he doesn't run he doesn't drive around in flash cars he doesn't he's not interested he wants he, he buys tractors he buy he, he builds in, in infrastructures that they need for the economy to grow that yeah. is what he's doing so that man he will be protected anywhere likewise general chani he's protected as in goita likewise right. okay let's go yeah now, another thing I want to speak on as well is mm -hmm. a writing system now of ancient West Africa. Yes, yes. Very important, this one, and it's very underrated. Mm. And I believe it's a very anticipated discussion, mm. which we don't really... Now, I'm, I'm aware of a lot of oral, everything mm -hmm. kept orally. Now... Mm, that's a falsehood right there. Yeah, yeah, falsehood. yeah. Now, I've looked at, like, West Africa now, and mm. I've seen something there, um, the Mandi script. Now, when we say Mandi, mm -hmm. this is going to be related to Niger Congo languages. Mm. Then later on, you get Bantu that's mm. connected, and we spread mm -hmm. all across Sub-Saharan Africa. But yeah. concentrating on um, a script, mm -hmm. because in order to have a script, mm -hmm. You must have had some sort of um, the form of communication, yeah, to be able to. Um, there you go. So um, I'm going to show you something. Like 
Yeah. I'm going to show you something. Have you heard about something called the Adinkra symbols? Yeah. In, is this in Nigeria? No, this is in Ghana. Oh, Ghana. Okay, okay. Yeah, it's in West Africa. Don't forget, you know, these lines, they are drawn. True. Adinkra, yeah. they can be all the way speaking the same kind of language and, and all of that across West Africa. Yeah. There was movement and, 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 and the kingdoms. So yeah. the Adinkra symbols, there was a king called King, Ad, uh, king Adinkra. He designed the symbols. You see this love symbol that is yeah. used around the world? Yeah. He designed it on, and he, wrote, he drew it up on the calabash. Yeah. So when they tell you that we haven't got any writing, it's a straight lie. Yeah. It's a straight lie. Uh, let me show you what I mean. So we 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 have to really debunk everything that they're saying to, about us. We have to debunk it totally. Because uh, they take, they, like, say, for example, the times of Mansa Musa or um, mm -hmm. Timbuktu, for example, mm -hmm. they speak of it in a way that everything was Arabic. That's where the writing come no. in. And, no, it's not uh, true. We have writing. We have African writing systems. I mean, I'll, I'll just, yeah. in fact, I'll, let me put that one up there. I want to just check up. African writing systems. And it's what it's also yeah. what happened to them though. Why aren't they being used? Because because they, they, they look like they stole yeah. many of our stuff. Yeah, yeah. There is a there is a there is a um there is a place in a museum in Italy. I forgot yeah. what it's called. A friend of mine actually went there. In yeah. there, we have the technology, we had what it what they're now doing as tablets to on, on we had that. Yeah. And writing. African, but they stole it and they took it away and they hide it from us. Yeah. These are facts. I, because, I mean, because here's the problem we got a lot of scholars here. Yeah? Now, we've yeah. had our own people, whether in the United States or certain other places, Europe, whatever. Yeah. And I'm talking about our people. Yes. Now, they all focus on Egypt. Egypt's got the documentation, no, Egypt's no, no, got no, the right. No, no. there's, there, there's more, more. There's a whole more lot more than, than that. that. Much you know, more. And much this is more. the problem, you know, because the way the Chinese are writing in it, Chinese, for example, to this day, they, um, you see, Arabic. they try to, they try to, they try to make it look like it's only Egypt that was writing. It's not true. I've just yeah. shown you the yeah. Adinkra symbols. It is from Ghana, West Africa. It's yeah. between Ghana, the king was between Ghana and Ivory Coast, and they and they they like to tell the story that he was killed and all of that. Um, but interesting, we don't know the part the colonials played in doing that. Uh, so I'm not very keen to to use that narrative because if you look at things, Queen Ashantewa, she fought them so much, she wouldn't give up. They took her away to the seashells to go and to leave, to take her away from her, from, from her kingdom. That was the only way they could actually take the kingdom over. Then yeah. she took her to another, uh, another island and then until she died, in the, died away from her home. You know, these are, I mean... So we have to be very, very careful the kind of stories we accept from those who colonize Africa. We must tell our own stories. Um, uh, let me just show you that. I'll show you the other one that I've got because now they're talking about uh, the, the yeah. only writing system we have is the hierog hierog hieroglyphics from, from yeah. uh, uh, Egypt, uh, from Kemet, which is not the case. It it's is kind of like uh, we've replaced our, our um, greatness with a lot of Arabic and there you go. English, French. And, but, that, but, that, but that's, why, that, that's what they've done. Yeah. And incidentally, I have a project going on right now. Um, I don't know. Can you see what I can see on the screen? Can you see anything? Can you see the letters that are on the Adikra symbols? Or you not can't? yet. Not yet. Okay, let me, let me do this way then. I was trying to put it in between you and I so you could see it, but yeah. you have to be... Okay, let me... I'll do it another way. No problem. I'll do it this way. Uh, this needs to come back. We need yes. to revive this back. We have. To, it has to. Be, it must come back. It has to come back. So share. Yeah. So you see that love symbol there. That yeah. is the Akan. Uh, let me. I'll. <clears throat> I'll go back again. Let me go back out. The love symbol that you see in the middle here. Okay. That okay. Was designed, that was designed by King Akran. So I think it appears on the same traditional Akan gold weights, carved yeah. symbols for domestic and ritual use. Tourism yeah. has led to new departures of the use of the symbol. So you know, when they do their, their when they do their so-called um, uh, uh, um, Valentine's Day, 
guess what? That's the symbol they use. That yeah. symbol comes from Africa. They haven't paid any rights for it. They have paid nobody a penny, hmm. but it's been used. Yeah. And that is, these are the realities of what we need to, that is what they've taken from Africa. But then they tell you we have no history. We have no history of writing. Yeah. That is writing right there. Symbols is writing. Now, so see the eye. I'm just looking at the eye. We see this in Egypt. The yes. eye, uh, you can look at, well, you can't see me pointing to it, but there's yeah. an eye on there. One eye. Um, Next. Which one? Keep going. Is yeah, it? yeah. You're close to it. Now go down. That one. Down a bit more. Now go across. Yeah, go. that one. Yeah. That one. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. The eye. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. I mean, they, they, it has it has significant meanings. All of them have meanings. Yeah. Everything that you see, they have got meanings that they write about, and I, and I have to try and to show it. And even now, you can see this is the man doing that symbol there. You see, they do it on cloth. You can see the man there. So yeah. this is something that is still alive, but they tell you, oh, they don't. I didn't cry. I see. I didn't cry alphabet. Um, but this is something they say in 2015. But we've had that way before. That is another way to try and tell us that we weren't able to write before 2015. That's nonsense. That's straight out nonsense. But we pick from this what we can. That's what, you know, they, because they try and mix the truth with lie. Um, yeah. that, that, we're not going to buy all that nonsense. Um, in, and in Yoruba Kingdom, we had writing systems as well in or your empire and i'm yeah. going to try and bring that up in the next time I, I haven't got access to it right now i have to yeah yeah maybe in the future that. but um yeah. so this, yeah. these are very important things because it is it is because what it is is because at the moment mm -hmm. we're not writing in it like um don't get me wrong there might be some secluded people like you know you know what or... you know what they've done when you take away someone's history like i just told you now in the in the um italian museum they stole our technology. There's a tablet that we were using in writing stuff. Yeah. On a wooden tablet. Came from Africa. They wouldn't allow people who are going to the museum to take any pictures of this. See? Yeah. Somebody that I know of told me this live on TikTok. Yeah. And they just, and they were experienced, and they were told, they were searched before they went in. They were searched if to see if they were carrying any camera. Anything they had on them, they had to put at the door. Go in and then come out. This is, look. Uh, it, yeah, well, like, it it's, it's like in Egypt, the, we're let, trying to let people take pictures of the tombs. Uh, well, not the they tombs, the, the mummies. Yes. Because when you start taking pictures of them, some of them have got dreadlocks still still there. You, you know, don't want you to have it. African so some features. of them have got dreadlocks. Yeah, I've seen them with dreadlocks, but they won't. I wanted to take some pictures, but I just... They won't like, let you do it. You just follow, especially if you're black, they'll follow you around in there, you know, so... Wow. You know, so they yeah. actually won't let you take... So they, so when you're black, they don't want you to take a picture of yourself to know yeah. your facts. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, me and me, cousin within there, we're just getting followed. These, and then eyes are on us, and I'm dying to just take a picture of the... Um, I tried to take one, but it was... It was just a terrible picture, <laughs> you know, so... Because when you're being watched, and that's difficult of to be course. able to just take a picture. You should picture. be able to take a picture of your yeah. own. This is your own ancestry. You see, yeah. that, and this, that tells you those people don't deserve to be on that that in in that place when they are stopping you and I from yeah. taking pictures of their own ancestors because they know that we will know who we are, and yeah. that makes any of their lives, you know, it 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 it, it dissolves it into nothing. Oh. Man. Man, but man. this is the thing, it's like um we have got a lot of work to do, but yeah, ignorance ain't gonna help. No, no, you know, um not. self hate ain't gonna help, self love no, no, definitely no, no. helps. Exactly. That's know? what that, that's what we are preaching. And um speaking before we go, um um before we go off air now, because I think time is about to be up soon. I think yeah, what I what I what what I would really like to talk about is um make sure that um Currently, we're on a program now. We are translating. We are, we've realized that the constitutions written for all African countries, they are imposed by the English or the French. Yeah. And they are in those languages. And the people who are in the communities, they don't speak English or French. So when you tell them about the laws, they don't know that they have rights to hold the government to account. So they're not able to participate in their governance. And that oppresses them. And those puppets are able to take the money away. So yeah. we are trying to translate the constitutions in each of those countries all 52 of them 
to translate it into local languages so that the people in the communities can begin to participate in their own governance. Because if it was in their language, they would be able to do so. They would be able to question. But because yeah. it's been removed from them, it's kept us all impoverished and the people who want to take our resources just come and take whatever they want above the heads of the people without yeah. their voice. For, I just talked about Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe now, the government went and and they've agreed, They were well, I'm sure they were compelled to sell 20% of their land to the UAE to mm -hmm. use to offset carbon your, uh, the, uh, the, the carbon uh, usage that they've done, which is nonsense. And the voice of the people is not in that process. So right there, you see that we need to have the constitution in the local languages so the people can participate in their governance and they will put a stop to any of this before it even happens. So well, that is something that we are really working on across yeah. the whole of Africa. We are aiming to do this. We'll start off in Nigeria first and roll it out across all African countries so that we can begin to change things. I am yeah. not interested in just talking about problems. I yeah. want, we need solutions. And this is the solution to a problem that is impacting all of Africa. So that's something we're working on. Um, I hope we, when, we, when we get more developed into things, I, I'm sure you can you have a role to play in suggestions and ideas. Yeah. And One last question. Will, I'm yeah, just the one last question now, and this mm -hmm. is on languages now. Mm -hmm. Do we need we a common one common language in Africa Not yet. where everyone speaks? No, now, no, when no, I say no. that, that doesn't mean abandon. Oh, yeah, I know, languages. I know what you mean. I know what oh. you mean. You're, you're like using making one language for communication purposes, like they do in Europe. In yeah. Europe, the three main languages that they use is Spanish, French, English. Yeah. Now the Germans are trying to sort of get themselves in so that they can also add that, but you know that's I see what you're saying. But for us, all our languages matter because all, when yeah. you have people in that community, their voices must be heard. Yeah. The minute you start denying that, then they are going to be denied things in terms of yeah. infrastructure without no, the evidence. Keep so, keep the local languages. Everyone keeps that's the correct. languages. Both. That's correct. Form into one languages. Now, if that was the, the case. I don't know which language we're going to choose, or we're we going to no, choose. No, no. I, I think a I bit think of everything. Would, I think it's going to be. It's going to be in the olden days. Our ancestors, when they went to market, they spoke different languages, and uh, and they could understand each other. And the market that was along the borders of the kingdom, they would speak multiple languages or a blend of two languages in a there. A blend of two. Uh, you yeah. See what I mean. Okay. So, so that is something that we can do um, and look at. But I, 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 we are far away. I, I wouldn't want to be thinking of having one language because it's naturally, again, what we need to do, we have to have our languages. The languages protect us, protects us in our communities. Because yeah. when you are speaking different languages, guess what? Your community, when you see somebody trying to evade, you can speak to them without them knowing that you are, let, are Latin the community. Yeah. Whereas if you're speaking in a common language that you all know, they can pick that up. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So there are benefits to really doing what we're saying now in terms of going, keeping the language as they are and then, and encouraging it. And don't forget, we will, of course, uh, I, largely we do not want the English or the French to be used on our continent. Definitely not. So that, that won't what, be we, what, what, what we will do, and we do not want Swahili because Swahili is Arabic. It is not African. Swahili is Arabic. Discussion? Yeah, about so, this discussion, so, the mixture. So, yeah. So we have to be very careful because some people were saying yeah. no, we can do Swahili. No, 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 no. It's yeah. Arabic. We don't want Arabic. We yeah. Well, want it's a mixture. It, 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 it's not a pure African language. It's got some no. Bantu in there and it's, it's Arabic. Got, yeah, mixed. but yeah. but that's but that's we need thing. pure. We need pure because you see what it does is that it's enough for them to be able to get their way in and yeah. hear what you're saying and influence you. Definitely. We need we need uh, uh um we need uh, uh, an African language. That is actually something that we as Africans can key into, with to the exclusion of others. Because when they're speaking Spanish and they're speaking French and they're speaking other, a lot of people don't know it, and that is what is impacting us. That's why there are resources are leaving our continent. Yeah. But if we are, if we send, having our local languages spoken, and then maybe as we, when we get more uh, settled, maybe we can now look at looking at more uh, common where you, where you have common similarities in language maybe that can be a way to go to use that as a popular language in that area where there's a where there's a, like a dialect and and, and in, in three or four different areas that it, that can lend itself to having discussions around that but let's yeah. not do that just yet because it the people need to know what is being said right now yeah. in their language yeah.
Yeah. That is very powerful. But I'm not ruling it out. Don't get mm -hmm. me wrong. I'm not ruling it out, but I think that's what we need to do. Some um, in the future. Some yes, in the exactly. future anyway. And and it would be when the people are when we start getting the benefits of the resources and they can think in a much more uh, you know wider way and 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 and, and overview of things, then we can probably look at that subject and people can more easily, you know, con communicate and, and, and come to a, a, a workable place where the language that will be choosed in that area will be something that best meets the needs of all of the people collectively together to be able to interact. So, yeah, um, yeah, uh, but but it's not it's not a bad idea, obviously. Yeah. It's just about the balance and timing is very important in my opinion, I think. Yeah, well, I give thanks for you, man, and thank appreciate you, you coming you. on the show. You know, thank um, you. Thank you. this thank is James you. the Bowen Scope and dedicated to original yes. peoples and yes. moving you, forward man. in life. And you know, yes. steps at a time, and we've yes. got a lot of a lot of steps to do. Yes, exactly. You know, exactly. You have to start exactly. with baby steps, and then we Indeed. take the bigger steps after that. Indeed. Indeed. But um, yeah. I give thanks on him. If anyone thank you. listen to AO, please subscribe to the channel. Yeah. Hash yeah. citizens. A Y. Y, exactly. That's Thank it. you. And and please also subscribe to James Debo. We need to get, please, we need a lot more subscribers to James Debo. Uh, we need to reach James Debo. Culture Revolution, James Debo. Culture yeah. Revolution, James Debo. Yeah. He needs to be, he, he has to, he needs to have minimum of 3,000 subscribers, please, on YouTube. And and also, are, are you on are you on TikTok, by the way? No, um, I'm I you need to that, you need yeah. to get on there. I, yeah. I you need to get on there and I'll bring you on board. Join and we will will help you know promote that as well. Because yeah. you need to, that is where things are really are kicking in terms of our awareness. And uh, you need to reach a wider audience. Your what your content your content deserves a wider audience, in my opinion. There's a lot and of I things that like I'm soon. not on Twitter, I'm not on yes. TikTok. So yeah, I know. But but the thing yeah. is um what what would the work that you've done and you have uh, you have a great catalog you have a great catalog no joke i kid you not i'm saying it because it, it is you know i you have a great catalog that people can key into and really learn from uh and um i think you should be able to it is rightfully that you get rewards back for the hard work that you've in, invested your time and money and effort into so yeah. please go and subscribe to james the um, uh, cultural Revolution. Um, J uh, uh, James, at, the uh, yeah. James the Ball, please do so on YouTube uh, and help grow that platform. I should be having at least 3,000 people, maybe more, 3,000 subscribers minimum. So when you're watching this, go ahead and subscribe to uh, James Bow on YouTube. And um, hopefully when he gets his um, TikTok, we will bring him on here as well. And we'll be doing more shows together. We do have, we have a lot more to talk about. Oh, um, there's so many areas to talk about uh, in terms of uh, trade, for example. That's another market area, area we need to discuss about Africans. The fact that we're not able to trade among ourselves because of the restrictions placed on us by the colonials. That is having a huge impact on our development on the African continent. But we'll talk about that later on. Um, uh, but thank you so much. Thank Give you. thanks, thank my you. brother, and we'll do this you. again. Yes, we will do. Uh, Take peace. care now. Thank, thank you very much, brother. Thanks. Peace. Thanks. Bye now. Bye. 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 Bye.